Hey guys, I'm Amit here and you're watching the Motorola Turbo Review. In case you're new to this channel, I'm Amit, the founder of Phone Radar and I have been using this Motorola's latest flagship from more than 2 months. Motorola had launched the best budget smartphones with the Moto E, Moto G and the Moto X which came with some amazing features, especially the twist to your wrist to capture photo which was my favorite. In 2014, they had launched the second generation Moto X that was also a great product and now this is the 2015 Moto X launched at the end of 2014 itself. This droid has a new name Turbo primarily for two reasons. One is the large 3900mAh battery and the second the turbo charging feature on this. For info this is also called as the Moto Max in a few countries. The droid turbo comes with a 5.2 inches 2K display with a resolution of 1440 by 2560 pixels making it up to 565 ppi which is one of the highest we have seen apart from the galaxy s6 which has an 577 ppi it's an oled display that is crisp the black is very deep and you would love watching videos on this one the display is crisp even when you're browsing the web and if you wish to take a look and some of the details then uh, though there's not much content available for this kind of resolution except the youtube app of course the Troy Turbo has the best camera we have seen from Motorola in their complete series. The photos are not oversaturated or processed the way we have seen the Samsung phones like the Galaxy S5. The camera supports 4K video recording and has improved from the Moto X2014. Here are a few samples that can give you an idea of the camera of this smartphone. The Droid Turbo comes with a 3900mAh battery that is the highest we have seen on a phone from a Taiwan brand. The best part is that even though with such a high capacity, the phone is not thick and has not lost any important features. The device comes with Snapdragon 8 or 5 and the Adreno 420 which can perfectly ensure that you get the better backup. In my experience of using this smartphone, I have found that the battery is not sufficient because the display kills it and you end up with charging the device say after around 30 hours or so while it is still okay but Motorola had claimed or promised us around 48 hours of usage while I didn't get the same results it's still better than my last phone which was the Apple iPhone 6 the device comes in two different options one is the ballistic nylon and the Kevlar which is only available in red but it is slippery while the nylon finish is much more textured and feels great when holding it in the hand after using it for 2 months without any case, you can still look at the back which looks great without any scars though it picks up a lot of dust from the pocket. The SIM card slot on this one is hidden behind the volume keys which is again a unique feature. The device has many smooth edges that are a plus considering that you wouldn't likely drop it easily when using it as your daily travel. Talking about the software, the device comes with KitKat out of the box which gave the same experience that we had seen on the Moto X2014 and certainly it's the best experience without any lags or near stock like experience or UI. Apart from this, the device has some custom ringtones, wallpapers and widgets that are amazing. Some features include the Moto Voice where you can customize your voice and interact with your phone the way you speak to someone and this feature was introduced with the Moto X. It's not up to the mark on the Droid Turbo though I guess that's specific to this unit. Another feature is the Moto Assist wherein the phone is actually smart in understanding what task you are into and let's say you are driving then the device activates the driving mode and reads out the text messages which you receive while you are busy in a meeting and finally when you are about to sleep it turns off all the sounds and uh, switches it back on in the morning. Now that's pretty much smart right? Now let's talk about the final feature which is the Moto Action Sense display where you can use a simple uh, gestures like waving your hand to silent any incoming calls or take a quick peek on uh, up to 3 notifications that show up on your lock screen. Now this phone is a beast perfectly optimized for a long usage almost with this red uh, back panel. A decent camera that we are not impressed with is uh, another important point to make a note of. The things that disappointed me were the front speakers. As I had mentioned that I have been a great fan of the LG G3 which had great speakers. Now that's a big bummer on this one. Apart from that the capacitive touch buttons which uh, create a problem while using this phone while watching some videos. And uh, finally I hope that the camera would have been actually optimized more in terms of uh, 
the photos which we get are actually blurred most of the times whenever i capture a photo the photo ends up blurring unless and until i stand uh, still and capture a good photo and apart from that the final problem is that this phone is not yet available anyway i had picked this up from amazon while in my trip to us for the ces and it's not yet available in most of the other countries so i hope really soon that it would be coming up while there has been a new leak that it would be coming up on flipkart and uh, we were the first one to cover that too and uh, we hope that this should launch soon and Motorola would soon push the Lollipop update to the Moto Droid Turbo which is already available for the Moto X 2014 and the Moto X first generation. So this was my review of the Motorola Droid Turbo which I have been using for more than two months and this is one of the most impressive smartphones which I have been using till date. This is Amit from Phone Data and you're watching the review of the Motorola Droid Turbo. Let me know in the comment section if you have any queries and I, have, I would be happy to assist you on the same. I hope to see you guys in the next review. Thank you.